We still have some really dry air, Chris, over us, especially with those east winds. That always makes firefighting a bit more difficult. Thankfully, those winds back off. Temperatures quite seasonable. 70s for the Bay Area, Valley, and Hills tomorrow. 60s for the Sierra. So still some crisp morning lows, though. This is where we started today, right around 40 to 45 degrees. Stockton, just one degree shy of breaking into the 30s. 43 for Auburn, 18 for Truckee and South Lake Tahoe at 34 degrees. Should be a beautiful evening, though, as we start Start wrapping things up. Highs today managed to make it into the mid to upper 70s for most valley locations. A little bit cooler for Modesto at 72 and Marysville at 80, Oroville 84. Some of our warmer spots there in the foothills, 70s and then 60s up top for the Sierra. How about these weather force photos? This one near the Sacramento River. This is the upper Sacramento River. Philip catching that one and then also this one. I just love the highlights on this water on the Uber River. That's near Downeyville. If you want to submit those weather their photos you can do so on the ABC 10 app just upload them by hitting the weather tab scrolling down and be a part of our weather force team the Gilmore backyard just a little bit of a breeze left over through tonight we'll see those out of the south to southeast temperatures eventually falling to about the mid 40s again our sunset at 6 11 sunset at 7 28 and I told one of my friends today don't forget to fall back this weekend he said oh wait what that's this weekend yeah just a, a casual reminder there checking in on the tropics this is the Gulf of Mexico you can see Zeta and now churning off of the Yucatan Peninsula, still making its way towards Louisiana. By the time we get to our midweek forecast, we'll be continuing to follow that as it strengthens into a Category 1 storm. Meantime, on the West Coast, high pressure building in, and that means the warmth is back in the outlook. Not anything really critical, but we will continue to follow that, especially as we head into our Halloween forecast, which, by the way, I know it's going to be not traditional forecast with all the trick-or-treaters out, but if you happen to be out and about, just kind of uh, gathering safely out Outside. 60s in the valley, 50s in the hills, in the Sierra will be in the 40s from about 6 to 9 o'clock in the evening. Temperatures tomorrow will be right around 70 for the Sierra after overnight lows right around the teens to near 20. Placerville 72, Auburn 74, Sonora we're at 73 tomorrow, Forest Hill 72 and nice not to see such high fire danger throughout much of the region. Our five day forecast, we continue to warm things up by the weekend. We're close to 70 for the Tahoe Basin. The Bay Area, very little fall. If you happen to be making your way towards the coast, get ready for some sunshine. High of 68 for San Francisco had just a tad inland. We're talking upper 70s for Oakland and Vallejo, right around 80 for Fairfield. Northern San Joaquin Valley, also beautiful and seasonable temperatures. Patterson 79, as well as Lodi, Manteca, and Turlock, both at 78. But the morning lows right around 40 to 45 degrees. And we'll see that as well throughout the Sacramento region. Elk Grove, we start off at 42, but warm to an afternoon high of 78. Mid to for 70s for Folsom, Roseville, and El Dorado Hills. Vacaville, 79. So getting pretty close to 80 there in the forecast. And many of us will actually hit those highs near 80 by the time we get to the weekend, which of course includes Halloween. And again, fall back early Sunday morning. <laughs>